Second, be right with you guys. Uh, gotta upload the match. They started very quickly. All right, suicide kill uh, from Carflow with the the up the drag down. I'm gonna. Yeah, sorry guys, I just need to finish this. I'll be with. Up to the last stock. <laughs> uh, Carflow at 100%. Uh, John at fresh at fresh stocks, and yeah, just gonna catch with that. Okay. So let's uh. There was a what's not okay. Oh, I, oh right, because we had a we had a double kill here. So what happens? How does he get caught in it? Up. Oh. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, just a little suction right there. Starts off a two-stock match. Let's see what happens here. Carflow, I think, goes. Wow, wow, okay. Wow, great job by Carflow. And then what does Don do to... Uh... Three, two, one. Okay, just punches the landing. Uh, John's bands were PS2 and Smashville. Uh, and so Carflow brings us to town and city. Understandable, uh, the, the Croy matchup definitely is just like, I'm gonna try and kill you off the sides. Um, which, I mean, to be fair, like, there are multiple stages with close sides, them being PS2 and Smashville included. So John just getting rid of and trying to pick poison of which one, which close last zone stage do you want to go to? Um, so here we are, town and city. And uh, Carfo trying to get uh, an edge guard situation, but John rolls just a little bit too further uh, than what he was able to cover. Um, something to note is that we fit uh, with like a, a few other characters have having to have a longer ledge roll. Uh, so what you're used to like covering for like general matchups actually doesn't work on We Fit. So you need to account for like a farther space if she's going to, if you read the roll. But John gonna back up the ledge, double jump, charge uh, Sun to, I don't know, intimidate him or something and gonna eat a forward tilt that then just takes the stock. And then Carful with the stock lead goes, I'm Krom, let's, let's go down together, baby. And so now we have a, oh, that might be, okay. Well, great DI by John. Um, what kind of lead did uh, Carflow have? None anymore. Really tried to finish it off right there, and honestly, had all the I had all the ingredients to do so, uh, but I guess you know took the pizza out of the oven a little bit too early, you know. And now John is uh, you know kind of reversing the situation here. Carflow, I may have spoke too soon. Carflow. Uh, Taking control, pulling the edge. Because of the spike thing, Krom wins the suicide, 
Because, like, they die from the spike before he dies in the bottom blast zone with the up B, right? I mean, I understand that that's probably still risky, but I mean, like, at this percent, it's probably surefire? I don't want to speak on authority on that, but the dashing forward tilt, gonna do it. And you see Carflow kind of, uh, you know, shaking their head, being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. So this is where John does a pretty ill-advised, honestly, like, back off uh, double jump to no hitbox whatsoever. Stupid. Oh, did he actually try to fire it? Oh, I think he did. Okay. That's a little That's a little bit less silly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you could tell that he healed uh, on trying to fire it. All right. Never mind. I thought he was, like, this charge, but, yeah, I should give John a little bit more credit. And here we see the double kill. Really good situation. Anyway, going into game three... Uh, Carflow's bands were FD and Kalos. I suppose, yeah, I mean, those are big blast zones. Well, Kalos is a, a battlefield blast zone, so those are pretty big. And then, uh, FD. Regardless, okay. Um, going to small battlefield. Let's see what happens. John is taking some damage, so you know Carflow in a in a good situation, but in a disadvantageous like you know position in the stage. Uh, but now possibly have an edge guard. Let's see, all right. The edge cancel the uh, like the you know the the hitting the ground and stuff. So I was able to just swing out of like tapping the edge of the platform. And now we have a dead even percent right now. Uh, John. Holding center. Okay. All right. These are some pretty respectful swings from both players. They don't want to overextend a little bit. Uh, but Carflow going to be taking the first stock uh, from that off-stage situation. <laughs> I don't know, man. If if she's like right next to you. And like you know the charge that she has, don't jump. It's it's not worth it. Like you survived, congrats, but like you got caught. Like you got red. I uh, kind of need to respect that situation. She doesn't really have a throw, so sometimes. Ooh, imagine if he held down. I don't know. I mean, I, I doubt would have that was connected. That's a scary situation. But yeah, Carflow being very reserved wants one thing, and that is the the chroma side right now. Oh, that's always a bait. That is always a bait uh, that John is going to do. Like, he knows the timing of how uh, deep breathing is working. So, like, it's it's like how, like, some players, like, run up to someone doing a taunt. Especially in this game where you can, like, cancel them and then, like, you can act just immediately. That's going to be... No wow. Incredible uh, awareness by John just able to like very expertly execute uh, those spikes on the on the crom upbeat oh that's it yeah and he leaves when inserting yourself remember to keep reading dun, dun. Oh, let's see the first stock this was looking pretty good for Carflow. Th this was a pretty good first kill. Like, they're both off stage, and then, you know, disconnects, and actually, hold on. Like, barely. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. No, she hadn't extended her other arm yet. Uh, she hadn't extended this arm for the hitbox, so uh, dodges the hitbox and just kills. Next match is going to be Dill versus Sho. Oh, Sho's here. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, anyway, so let's see. Uh, there were even stocks. Oh, right. This is the that. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Uh, that's where he just, like, gives up. I, I, how did you get an air dodge in that direction? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Maybe it just goes away and John's like, huh? But yeah, 